Hey friends, today's video is brought to you by the lovely people at Timu. Guess what? Teacher edition. Teacher. All right, so my first item from Timu is this LED writing tablet, right? So it's not an actual tablet, guys, but um, it's like, I believe it's like those little um, night bright things that we used to write when we were little. Whatever that was. <laughs> Whatever that was, okay? So anyways, you turn it on, on the back, and then what I'm gonna use it for, the kids learning how to spell their name, not spell it, but write their name, right? So like, check it. We were out here saving paper all day. They could just write their name and write their name and write it some more. And guess what? We are saving paper. Hi, Zaya. I'm making a video. Zaya's here. All the kids are gone, but Zaya's here. Zaya rides with me. The thing that they sent me, I'm really excited about, right? Because I'm about to make my, you know, arts and crafts section real, just, it's about to be lit, it's about to be dope, right? Because they sent me these little guys, right? And what I'm gonna do, I don't know if y'all can see that, can y'all see? Can you see you can like put things down in it? So I'm gonna color coordinate my crayons and use these bins to do it with. I am so excited. Can you tell? How many did they send me? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna use these to color coordinate my crayons, my markers, and if I have enough left over, I will um, coordinate my um, my um, pom poms, which I'm about to show you. Got these. Okay, first of all, I want to say that compared to the normal price of this stuff, right? Timu is dirt cheap. Do you hear me? Dirt cheap. So let me hurry in and get through this. So I have some pom poms for art. And then I also have, as I said, pom poms, pipe cleaners. Yo, if you know, you know. Pipe cleaners for all kinds of things. Making letters, making little like stick people, um, figures and things like that. Staple during arts and crafts for preschool. Everybody knows this. We need pop or um pipe cleaners. Pom-poms too. More, 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 more. We need it. It's a thing, right? This is what? See, move at my back. When I tell you this stuff was so inexpensive, I'm just like, oh, while I'm talking, I do have a code, which I'm gonna put right here. Ta-da! because mother does not remember the actual code while I'm talking to you. That's why I'm gonna put it right here again. Ta-da! So that you can go and shop and use my code, also my link, which will be down in the description, right? Right. All right, so let's move on. No art section is complete without googly eyes. Let me tell you, it's not just one size in here we have i want to say it's about three different sizes it looks like large medium and, and small but googly eyes art projects listen teachers you know homeschooled mommies y'all know so if you know you know right if you know you know now here's something that i found to be really cool that they sent right these go on pencils. They actually sent me um, two packs. So let me open one and show y'all this. So basically, I don't have a pencil in front of me. And guess what I'm not about to do? Go get one. Ah! Basically, 
you put the pencil in and it shows you there's an arrow right there. I don't know if y'all can see the arrow. Your pencil goes in this way and through here. And then you put their index finger, their thumb right here, and then the middle finger rest, rest, there's a little groove right there, to help them learn how to hold their pencil properly. They sent me this, it's a pack of four, right? It's a pack of four. Again, if you go to any huge store, I'm telling you, stuff like this costs so much money. It is not cheap. It is not cheap. Cheap, it is not. <laughs> the next thing I have is also for art. I'm so excited, right? Because it's for painting. So the brushes, I don't know. Let me take something out. If you can see, the brushes have different um, designs on them. So whenever they stroke, it's going to make whatever is here. So this one has like, for instance, the jagged edges. This has the three. This is kind of like a mop, this green one. But then what's cool is that it also comes with the rolling pins. And the rolling pins also have different designs on them. Let me show you this side, see? So cool. We are around here taking art to the next level with Timu, okay? That's what we're doing. And then they have a, a few more. Let me show you. See, ah, they were like, teachers, okay? The district ain't acting right, or your director ain't acting right. It's all good, girl. We got you, okay? The next thing I, I wanna show you guys too are, um, they're also paint brushes, but they're the stamper ones. And they are many different sizes. Oh, I want, I want, I shot the BB gun. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. I got this little puzzle doohickey, right? So it's basically like the gone fishing game because it comes with this little pole, right? Has the pole on it. And then each fish has a magnet and you just, you go fishing. They gonna go fishing. more excited all right me or these children so basically the back of it has a number and whichever so whichever fish they fish for and get they pick it up and then they tell you the number so it's a cool game for number recognition right you're welcome let's move on so I thought these were cute. Little um little puzzles, right? And they're 3D, you know, so they're they're thick, the actual pieces that come off. Now I enjoyed this and then I have a dinosaur one with the numbers on it to connect. And I wanna tell you why, because children we all know get bored with things all the time. So if you have extra, then you can switch out. And that's what I'm gonna use these for. Switching out. Or little activities for them to do while they're waiting. Let's say it's potty time and everybody's waiting to go potty and you need to bring out something real quick so they are not tearing up the classroom or meeting up each other. Pastimes, okay? You are welcome. Don't say I ain't tell you. Next, I have something that I absolutely love. I don't buy them often because they are so expensive. But these are the pattern blocks, all right? So basically, they give you a bunch of different geometric shapes, but then they give you the cards so it'll show um, the kids where which um, shape to choose 
and how to put them together so that they can make, well, in this case, a swan. Pretty impressive, right? A swan. And I really like that. And it also comes with a little carrier bag to store all of it in. So I really like that. I think it's a, a really good idea. And I'm sure that the children will love to do this because they really enjoy puzzles at this age, you know? Preschool and pre-K um, age, they really like to do puzzles. Here's something else that I got. And seriously, it just kind of sort of reminded me of a lava lamp. I'm gonna put it in um, the science center though. Because I remember when I was taking an early childhood education class when I was in college or whatever, and we made a dupe of this with a water bottle, oil, um, water, and food coloring. And we made these, so I thought it was cute. Again, very inexpensive, on Timu that is. And yeah, I was like, let me snag that up before they're all gone. So that was a great deal. This <laughs> was in here, but I gotta tell you, it's for home, right? But basically, you mount it on your wall and it holds your cell phone while you charge it. You know, so you're not like bending your cords or whatever. But I got two. I got one for myself and then I got one for Trent. Smiling feet. <laughs> so you probably already guessed it. But these are for lining up. So I bought um, two. I wanted two from them. Because I want to put one in the classroom to the back door or at the back door where they line up to go outside. And then another one in the classroom where the bathroom is so that they know to, to where to uh, wait their turn so that they can go to the restroom. So I thought these were cute and was like, Timu, hook your girl up. And you know what? They did, so I got these. I, I purchased these, I love this. So let's see, we're down to the last three things. This says that it is a water book, right? And you can reuse this. And I love reusable things. So like I said, these are just little things to use when you're, let's say you need to kill time because if it's bathroom time, let's say potty time, you have a younger class, you can't just have them all sitting there not doing anything, girl. They'll tear up the classroom, tear up each other, tear up you. You have to have something for them to do. So. That's why I am enjoying the fact that now I have extra things to add to the what not bin for them to be able to do things while they wait their turn to use the restroom and things like that. All right, moving on to something that I would use for like a VPK kid or, or, or older. I really, really like this. Y'all look at this, right? So they have the hands here with the fingers and then um, it's either addition or subtraction you can use. One plus two equals three, right? So basically you can show them pretty much one-to-one -one correspondence by using the fingers and I thought that that was so cool and so neat. Timo, good job. Actually, great job. I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> so I forgot about these, but how could I? Anyways, musical note, paper clips. Why? Because the children here, the older ones, learn how to play music.
and I saw these and I thought, ooh, can y'all send me those? Because it's so stinking cute. So it say, um, a treble clef. And I'm so excited, right? Hold their music. I'm excited. I think I'm more excited than they are. But, see this? I don't know how many that is, but that's how many you get in the bag, boo boo. That's how many. Now, last but not least, all teachers, directors, whoever, y'all know posters? They cost the arm, a leg, and your firstborn. Okay, but not at Tick Move. <laughs> nay, nay. They don't cost that much there. But look, you get so many. Oh my gosh, look. I'm excited about this. So, there's that one. Let's show you a couple of them. Maybe not all. Oh my God, days of the week. Girl, you know we be teaching days of the week. Y'all saw my video. The alphabet. <laughs> oh, I am excited. Look at this. Colors. You know what? I might show y'all all of them. What? Look at this. Girl, what's the weather? Okay, what is it? Huh? Is it raining? Is the sun shining? Is it cloudy? Who knows? Because in Florida, baby, we do all that in in a matter of like 30 minutes. <laughs> Look at this seasons. Love this. But everyone knows that po posters are mad expensive. Not a Timo. Look at that. Farm animals. Farm animals. I'm I'm geeked right now. Wait, what else do we have? And yes, I am looking at this for the first time with y'all. Ta da! Well, let's learn how to tell time. Okay, some people need they still learning. Okay, the older ones, not not like the very small ones, but the ones that I have in elementary school. Look! Oh my God, fruit! Let's learn about some fruit, people. Do we have vegetables? What is this? Numbers, okay. One-to-one -one correspondence, I see you, Timu. Okay, y'all got it covered. What is this? Around town. Oh, so this will be good um, because I have little dogs that are called community helpers. So basically like the firefighter, the teacher, the doctor, different stuff like that. Uh, people that work in the community, they're called community helpers. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, opposites. This is a good visual to teach opposites. Um, but I do find opposites is easier than teaching rhyming. You'd be surprised how hard it is for a child to catch the concept of rhyming. But um, I like that for opposites. What is this? Months of the year. Coolness. Cool, cool, cool. What else do we have? Ball game. Cool. I like this because they do need to learn about different sports and whatnot. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? My body. Let's learn our, you know, let's learn our body parts. The head bone is connected to the neck bone. At least that's what they did when I was young. <laughs> what is this? Good manners. Okay, so we have a little set of classroom rules. Nothing wrong with a little set of, you know, good manners. We can do that. What else? Veggies. Oh, there's the vegetables. So the veggies and the vegetables and the fruit I'll put in the kitchen center. That'll be a great place for it to go. This is the solar system. So dope. Still upset that Pluto is not a planet anymore. Okay. Even though it has been forever, but it's not no more. I don't know if y'all knew that, but they did my boy Pluto wrong, but whatever. <laughs> but we have wild animals. That's dope. Love it. And then we're back to multiplying here. So... I'm excited about the things that I have here. Oh, they also give you the stickies to hang. Let's see. I mean, my screen went crazy. The stickies to hang this stuff with. And I am excited 
about that. All right, so let's put this back so we can get on it. That, my friend, is the end of my Timu Hall teacher edition. <laughs> Hopefully you'll come back and see what else they send me. I think I'm, I don't think, I know that I'm gonna do um, a plus size swimsuit haul from them. I haven't done a haul in a long time, right? It's been mostly vlogs on my channel now, but I'm gonna change that. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do a plus size swimsuit haul from Timu. But anyways, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for, you know, supporting my channel. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell button so that you know when I upload. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. Boom!